Now, I know when you saw the title, you were expecting something a little different. Uh, sorry, I'm not wearing any heels. <laughs> Confession. I don't come from the most creative background. My parents were engineers, and I grew up in the suburbs. In high school, my idea of a good time was playing Super Smash Brothers, reading Kurt Vonnegut, and studying academic decathlon. I didn't set foot on the dance floor until I was 19, but then I was swept in. In the past seven years, I spent over 3,000 hours swing dancing. It became such a passion that I began to teach and compete, and I was recently honored with the title of Arizona Swing Dance Champion and National Swing Dance Champion. I'm here because swing dancing transformed my life. I want to give you an insider's perspective on the life of a social dancer, hours spent moving, connecting, creating, relating, all without a single word. <clears throat> I walk in and instantly I'm hit with a wave of excitement and joy, a sea of people laughing, smiling, twirling. Would you like to dance? She says yes, and I have the time of my life. What a discovery. I kept going back for more. Dancing is less about thinking and more about feeling, my instructor said. I applied my characteristic intensity to fluid expression rather than analyzing, and it worked. Then I lost it. But I was learning. I looked up and realized that I finally felt comfortable expressing myself in front of others. I stood alone in the spotlight as the song came to an end. They looked back, smiling and nodding. Breakthrough. The song starts. Solo dance time. It used to be spotty, but then a switch flipped. I dance and I experience fluidity, playfulness, and joy. Then the song and the experience fade. I don't know when it happened, this bubbling over into my life. Connecting with others feels natural. I'm playful all the time. I express myself in all that I do. Life and relationships feel like a dance. Dance the experience. Dance after dance, night after night, I am often surprised by joy. It's kind of like your favorite ice cream, if you could eat it for four hours straight and it helped you lose weight. <laughs> I love the feeling of the sense of connection to the music, feeling the rhythm, the mood, to my partner, hands clasped, moving in sync, a relationship in 4-4 time. In every song, I feel caught up in a story, it's a story of expression, playfully weaving steps in song, uniquely co-creating, releasing the spirit of dance in a moment. The life of a social dancer. Fun is the theme, expression the motif, connection the plot, and great cardio, sometimes sweating a lot. Every three minute song is like a speed date, every water break a chance to more deeply relate. It's good conversation with people from all walks of life, at one dance, I met a yoga instructor, an imagineer, uh, an actress, a metallurgical physicist who threw great parties, I might add, a professional world traveler, and that was a slow night. It's New Year's spent with friends and in fun, and you never know into whom you will run. For example, champagne with Bill Nye, experiences money can't buy. Virginia Satir said that we need four hugs a day to survive, eight to maintain, and 12 to thrive. 30 minutes of cardio activity is essential for our health and well-being. Music improves mood, cognitive functioning, and de-stresses. It's the basis of music therapy, the Mozart effect. And family, friends, romance. These are the centers of our lives. It's one thing to know the science behind these things, we know the science and it's important, but it's a wholly different thing to see them all come together, to learn the art, and to live the experience. Confession. Social dancing has met so many of my emotional, social, and creative needs. It's transformed the way that I look at life, relationships, and connection. I'm convinced that the experience of joy, self-expression, and connection is waiting for anyone in abundance, and it's only a dance away. Thank you.